this long haul Larry Big Blue. It is April 8th, 2020. I am in Appleton, Wisconsin. I'm here at a Nestle DC plant, I want to call it. And I am loaded. I got unloaded this morning um, down in Madison. No problems there. Everything was good. I'm loaded here and I have myself 21,434 pounds and I already kind of looked and I didn't see anything about what it is. Uh, bacon jalapeno cheese something. I don't know. Wondering if this is the way to get out. Not really sure. guy's kind of mumbling himself. I'm not really sure. Uh, once I get out of here, I am going to be, um, I'm gonna actually be stopping over at the truck stop. I gotta record a little bit of video for you guys that I'm putting together final part of it and then I'm going to be heading down to Texas but I'm going to actually be stopping at my house too on the way um, there's a couple reasons I want a couple little things um, I need to drop off a tire and um, my mom has actually she's been they've been sitting home and stuff staying away from everybody and everything but my mom is like an expert seamstress she's she she's she can quilt like you never even imagine. She's been known for this all of her life. She's she's had people buy quilts from her all over the country, and they've actually flown her in to look at her house and, and design a quilt for them and everything. And then she goes home and does quilts and stuff. She's very good at this. Um, but she has used her time at home to actually be sewing up masks because a lot of the hospitals and clinics and stuff like this. They've been going short on masks, so her and a group of her friends from church have all gotten together, and they've all been sitting at home, and they decided that they would try to make a goal and, and make masks. And so each one of them been sitting at home, and they've been sewing all these masks up, and then somebody went all around and picked up all the boxes of the masks that got done and went out and delivered them. But she has made some for me, too, because I'm afraid that there is going to be a... Um, some states here coming up I'm kind of thinking this is going to expand i know it was pennsylvania i heard uh, laredo texas i think it's going to expand that you have to wear a mask uh, if you get outside your truck for fueling or delivery or something like that so ah almost <laughs> So I'm gonna be stopping by there and uh, just dropping a couple things off. My mom, she's gonna leave the mask in a box or an envelope outside for me. I don't really need them, I think, to wear all the time, but I think it'd be good to have them just in case I end up going into a state where I gotta have a mask. I mean, where is a truck driver supposed to get a mask on these? You can't get them anyway, you know, and truck drivers like me that are not going home, it's hard, so. So I'm gonna grab a few of them. Um, I was thinking that I would try to grab maybe a dozen or so and then uh, maybe meet up with John or Eric or something like that. I could, you know, give each one of those guys a mask or two or maybe just leave some at the yard or something so guys can grab you know, one or two each so they have them. We'll see. But I'm going to make a pit stop right up here and, um, and then I'll be out of here and heading on home. So I'll catch you guys later. Well guys, we're at the house here. We just stopped in for a few minutes. Um, 
and uh, I'm just grabbing some stuff and I thought this would be the perfect time that I could get this uh, filter changed over because if I drip a couple drops of oil it's not going to be the end of it. I don't want to be doing that in uh, a truck stop parking lot or something like that. So basically, just loosen that there clamp up. It's kind of raining out and stuff, so not the best of condition. There we go. Let's go let that drain out. Oop. And then it's just a five sixteenths. We're gonna use a flat head screwdriver. Removes this here screw. A little clip comes off. There we go. Get your little spring in there that holds it. Is it this plug that it won't drain? Almost oh, definitely. Look at that. Well guys, we got her all cleaned out, got everything drained off. So pretty simple, just gonna reconnect our hoses up. Oop, there are my paper towels. There we go. And we got our new filter here. It is a Pekar, it says Genuine Parts, 87904M. You can see it right there. It's like $20, something like that, right from the Kenworth place. There is a Fleet Guard number on here. 87904. It's just pretty simple. It's just got rubber on the bottom, rubber on the top. So like a so. And I got my cap all cleaned out and everything. Set that right on there. So like a soap. box here we go got that all tightened up and then basically it's automatic transmission fluid that goes in here it's um you need a transmission fluid Dexron 3 or Mercon. I think it says on there Mercon 3 or whatever above. And we'll just dump this all in there. I could try to go get a funnel, but. I 
think I'll be all right. There is going to be a little bit of the old fluid in here yet, because there's some down inside this pump yet, and there's some or inside this gear box over here, and there's also some inside the pump on the engine. one I think it's gonna take two I got another one inside the truck so I'm gonna go dig that one out dump that one in there and then basically I'm gonna start the truck up and just turn the steering wheel back and forth a couple times and that'll psych all the fluid get all the air bubbles out and we'll be ready to go I gotta get out of this rain well guys we are ready to take off I think I got everything I think I got everything I need. Um, I did grab my brother's CD. Um, now I just have to figure out how to get the songs off the CD onto digital media. <laughs> that might take a little bit to do. And I'm gonna tell you, I, I, you, you could try to send me instructions for it if you want, but I'm guessing I'm gonna have to put it on my laptop. I don't know. We'll see how it happens, but I am not good at this technical stuff. No, I am not. Notice that when I came out of the driveway, there was no growling, no growling in a power steering. I didn't, I didn't hear any. We'll try it up here at the stop sign. remember the subscriber's name that recommended I do that but thank you very much uh, that's something I did not not I did not know I did not know that there was a filter in there so I appreciate that because I'm telling you right now I was ready to pull the power steering pump off see the receipt right handy for that but um it was it was 20 some dollars for that filter so thank you once again for that suggestion that fixed it right up good to go um i was kind of looking into it they're saying they say it's actually recommended that you change that filter in your fluid every hundred thousand miles so ah, I'll guarantee it's never been done in this truck. Because that fluid was not even red anymore. It was kind of brown. And that filter was pretty plugged up. So I was pulling it apart. I mean, it, the fluid wouldn't even drain through it. Hardly at all. I had pulled the filter off and finally drained through. Walking your dog. Well, we 
are heading on down. Denton, Texas, and it's telling me that I got 1,092 miles. So 1,092 miles. And it's telling me to go straight here. Yeah, that would not be good. If you're a truck driver and you come to this place right here, <laughs> let me give you a little tip. Don't go straight. Do not go straight. That's South 67, Highway 67. And it may tell you it is a truck road, but you're not gonna like it. <laughs> Trust me on that one. It's 35 miles an hour, and in a semi, I bet you you wouldn't be able to do 30, 25, 30 miles an hour. It's all tight turns, it drives right alongside a long lake. And then you're gonna come into the town of Dundee you got to make a really tight turn in Dundee there. There's a bar that sits right on the corner. And, uh, and then you got to climb up a big hill to get out of there and stuff. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to go that way. Oops, missed my gear there. Go out this way and I jump on, um, it's W then run that back down to 45 and then that'll go right past 67 where 67 comes out. Right there's Ottery Trucking. You ever seen an Ottery Trucking truck out there running around the country? They're all over the place. Two tankers. He's actually my next door neighbor and I grew up with all them guys, Ottery boys. They have tried to get me to come and drive truck for them for a while. And I actually did go over there and did talk to them. I think I probably would have if I didn't know them. But I know them real well and going to work for them, I don't know. Doesn't seem like a great idea. Something happens, I don't, you know, get into a bicker with them, you know, they're my neighbors. Eh, might not be the best choice. Oh, that piece of little property there is sold, I guess. Huh. Peg old mink farm there is, I think they ripped down some buildings. stomping grounds growing up. I've been driving down the road looking at different houses thinking about going, thinking about pointing out to you guys, hey, I dated a girl lives there. I dated a girl lived there. Yeah, I, I, was, I, I started to think about doing that and then I went, no, I don't think I will. I think I will let you guys go. I'm going to be releasing my video here in just a little bit for my book release. I surely do hope you guys like it. A lot of effort went into it. I think it's pretty good. And uh, I hope you like the video that I put together for the release of the video. <laughs> I put a lot of work into that video editing together stuff and everything. It's, it's quite a bit to try to make it all tie together somewhat decent. So I hope you guys like it. 
And yes, that is not President Trump, Obama, Sanders. That is actually me <laughs> imitating those guys. So it's not them. It's just me. It's all meant to be just a joke at all the political parties and stuff. All their bickering back and forth. I've talked to you guys quite a few times about windmills around here. You can see. This is not even the big section up ahead of me here. It's good. I know you're not going to be able to see in the camera. It's too far away. But right behind those silos, back over the top of those trees back there, it's just windmills everywhere. guys go I hope that everyone out there is having themselves a great day great night if they're watching us here video wow that gravel pit's almost gone that gravel pit's been there a long time I guess they finally have gotten all the gravel out looks like they're gonna push dirt over the top of it now make it back into a field huh but I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day great night as they're watching us here video not we certainly can change all around try it all over again tomorrow everybody stay safe out there and i will talk to you next time see ya